Anybody out there? Hello? Anybody out there? Hi? Am I cooking on my own? Oh, expected that. Oh, two people in the house, that's good. Need another 10 more at least. I'll st settle with 10, come on. Five more minutes. Hello, Claire. Oh, four. Excellent stuff. Five. Here we go. Come on, five more. We can crack on. The last live video got um, over 500, about 500 views, which is pretty good. So that's quite cool. The scary thing is, for the first time ever, I'm watching myself on the iPad while I'm watching you guys, and it's quite off putting. So I'm going to turn it off. It's driving me mad already. Claire, do you have all your ingredients ready this time? Yes? Five more minutes, and then we'll crack on. While you're waiting, while you're waiting, thank you, Lou. Um, while we're waiting, can you, um, your chicken, can you pull it apart to pieces about that big? Maybe even smaller. Just pull the chicken apart. If you've got sliced chicken, just pull it into like little strands for me. That'll give us a bit of a head start, okay? That'd be quite handy. Okay. Right. I've got another two minutes on my watch. Let's see how we go. Ba, ba, ba. Let me know when the chicken is ripped and ready to rock. Just one chicken piece, or if you've got chopped, uh, non, like already cooked chicken from the supermarket, just um, a handful, maybe a little bit more. Hi, John. Good to see you, John. At least make a comment this time. Last time you watched, and then you kind of disappeared. But um, that'd be cool. If you don't comment, John, I'll bring you on camera, and you won't like that. <laughs> okay. One more minute, and then we're going to crack on. Let me just get some water. Just make sure your chicken's ripped and ready to rock, okay?
Hello Dawn, good to see you. Right, okay, so first things first, if there's any, any children out there cooking, make sure you've got a parent with you today because we're going to be cooking on a stove, okay? And the oven's on, it's all going to be cooking today. Um, equally, make sure you have your squirty cream ready. I mentioned in my last post, make sure you've got a, a tin of squirty cream. If you haven't got it, I'm doing this on my own, okay? Right, um, and also, can you make sure that, um, that you've got an oven cloth and make sure you're being safe? Remember the rules of uh, bunker school. Yes? So, the rules. Ask an adult before joining. Wash your hands, don't pretend. Sing happy birthday, you know the score. Ask an adult to help, get yourself ready. Not like my sister last week. Um, be safe, have fun, and enjoy. And make loads of comments, wave to me, give me thumbs up, do whatever you like. Just make sure you keep in contact with me so I feel like I'm not doing this on my own, all right? Um, so, today we are going to be doing something savoury, which makes a nice change. So, what we're going to do, First of all, we need to make, um, if we're ready to go, right, we need, oh, hello Kieran, woo, Novak, you're a ledge, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Um, okay, so, um, um, I think I've got my youngest viewer, um, um, no, Kieran, or I call him Novak, because he was, um, we celebrated the, his, um, his uh, baby shower, when Wimbledon was on, and Novak Djokovic won. And I said, if Novak wins, you have to call your kid Novak. But he's called Kieran, but I don't call him that. He's Novak for, to me. So, hello. You can laugh at me now. Anyway, right, let's crack on. So, let's do this. So, follow the rules, be careful, all right? First, switch your oven on to about 180, okay? These are for your wraps that we're gonna make. All right, so stick that on, brilliant. Also, get yourself a frying pan, okay? Make sure you've got a little little pan, okay? You need one little pan to make your um, curry sauce that you're gonna make for your coronation chicken um, mayonnaise, and you'll need a, um, a, a non-stick pan for your flatbread. Okay, let's crack, crack on then. So, first things first, what we need to do is we need to make our, are we all ready? Everybody give me a thumbs up if you're ready before I crack on. I keep on forgetting there's people watching. And then we can crack on. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's do this then. We're getting some thumbs up. Let's move. Right, here we go. So, I'm bringing the camera down. Can everybody see the bowl? Let's do this. Okay, so, first things first. We need to make our... Uh, flatbread. This is probably the easiest recipe in the world, okay? Self-raising flour. I promise this has been the last recipe for a while um, without, with, with um, self-raising flour because we're running low of it, aren't we, really? So, self-raising flour in a bowl, okay? Okay, at this point, a bit of S&P, salt and pepper. Does anybody need me to run through the ingredients and we've got them all? We're all good? Bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. That's it, job's a good one. Okay, so we have our flour, ready? Next thing, yogurt, okay? All of this, make a little well, because we're gonna do something similar to the other day. It's 300 grams, Claire. 300 grams. 300 grams of self-raising flour. Have you got it? Hi, James. I did show the ingredients again earlier in the week. 300 grams. You okay? Right. 300 grams of flour in a bowl. Okay, let's carry on. 300 grams of flour in a bowl, seasoned, okay? Then, yogurt. 
all goes into the middle. Don't be shy, throw it all in, it's fine. Okay? Throw it all in. Try and scrape every little bit out of your container. All right? Set that to one side. Get rid of your spoon. Now you get your hands in, okay? Claw, like last week, do you remember? Okay. Okay. So, start moving your flour in. Mix it up. You'll watch it move, push together. It's quite cool now. See how you start clumping? It's pretty good. Keep on stirring, scraping around the side of the bowl like we did last time, okay? Cool beans. And you watch it clump together. It's quite, quite a good recipe, this is. So here, we are making the flatbread. That's okay, James. You'll be fine. Okay. Start pushing it together. That's it. And it will start... Feels a bit dry, but all of a sudden it will start, start, pour, um, start mixing together. Okay, give it a good old stir like that. It'll all go in. All right. Like last time, try and move it around the bowl so we've got. Might need a little bit of water. Okay, your fingers again, make sure you rub your hands, clean your fingers off like last time. Okay, start getting both hands in there, start mixing it together. Oh, you're good. Ah, Emmanuel, good to see you. And now it's all kicking off. I've got someone at the front door. This is live, people. I think it's my mum's birthday present. Right, see that? That's your flatbread, boom. Now, what we need to do now, we've got a clean bowl. Let me wave to a colleague of mine. Hello. Right, now, we have flatbread, okay? Now, move your bowl to one side. Now we're gonna mix on this, okay? Now, I know I've been using a lot of self-raising flour, um, but you can use a bit of plain flour for this, so you can knead it, okay? A little bit of flour on your board, like that, just a little bit, not too much. Okay? <laughs> um, right, so here we go. No, James, uh, my mum, my mum, my mum's birthday is on Friday. Right now, let's start kneading this. Your bread's made. What you want to do is you want to try and create a nice. Oh, let me throw everything everywhere. Bear with me a second. I just threw chicken everywhere. That's cool. It's okay. Okay. So, what you want to do, I've had to close the door, right? Because uh, our next door neighbours are having a pool party. There's people screaming everywhere. Okay, so, knead it until you get a nice smooth paste. Okay, look at that. It's great, look, you've got bread. And when you put your finger in it, because you're using yoghurt and self-raising flour, it creates the same effect, it's great. That is, Easy flatbread, look at that. A little bit of kneading, that's all you need. That's all you need, that's a good joke. Right, okay, we all got that. There you go, two ingredient flatbread, easy as that. Now, what I suggest you do now is put that in the fridge while we do the rest of the ingredients, just to let it calm down, all right? That's all we need it to do, okay? 
make sure it's nice and smooth make sure it's got a nice feel about it you'll feel it in your hands it will feel slightly a nice a, no, a nice dough can, uh, texture okay right bring it around in your hands so you get a nice ball like this look at this there you go see that lovely job there you go that's your lot I would wrap it in a little bit of clean film for the minute and just bung it in your fridge. Forget about it until we need to go, go, go back to it. All right? In clean film, in your fridge. And let's wash our hands. Okay, everybody's pastry's in the fridge. Let's get rid of the flour, let's keep nice and tidy. Okay, next thing we need. All right, now, what I need you to do for me. Hi Lou, let's give you a wave. Okay, next thing you need to do, we are going to make our curry powder paste, all right? So, um, a good chef friend of mine, years and years ago, about 10 or 15 years ago, said to me, Curry powders are all good. If you get reasonable priced ones, um, they need a bit of cooking out, as we like to call it. A bit like when uh, you um, you cook flour, because it's very um, starchy. You need to get rid of that, that flavour. Smooth it out a little bit. So, what I've done here, in this container, see that? That is um, a good, good heat tablespoon of curry powder. Whatever um, strength you want. It can be hot madras, mild madras, I don't care. As long as you're happy with the curry powder, I couldn't give a hoot, as long as you're happy with it. And I've, I've added, this is a madras paste, but I like the colour of turmeric. So I've added a teaspoon of turmeric in there, okay? That's it. You could add any flavour you want, okay? In this mayonnaise, you can mix it with a little bit of pesto. Your shout, really up to you. Garlic mayo, just mayo. I don't care, as long as you're happy with it, okay? Right. So what we do is I'm going to show you my little camping stove that I've got here so I can work in this area. All right, so I'm not walking away from the camera. I'm going to turn this round. This might not work, we'll see how it goes. So what we're going to do now, switch on, go over to a stove, bring your camera with you, um, your phone with you, and what you're going to do is I need a little saucepan or a small pan on the stove, okay? I'll show you what I've got. Okay, ready? All right, can we all see that? Okay? All right, so I've got my little pan there. All right, so, are we all with me? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this on. We have fire, Ooh. Okay, now what you want is a nice moderate heat. Okay, like that. Put the pan on, leave it be for a bit. Okay, want it to warm up a little bit. Don't put your hand in the pan. That's just me being silly. Just hold it, heat it up, get a parent to help you if you're a child and you need a hand. Okay, heat it up a little bit. Now, what you need is a small cup of water. I've got about that much, not much water at all, okay? Just a little bit. There's a hundred, um, um, 100 mils um, of water, not much. Okay. And what you're going to do, what you're going to do, is everybody with me, put some water in there. Okay. That's all you want to do for the minute. Crank it up, bring it to the boil. Okay, so you've got your water in the pan. Everybody good? Watch it boily, boily, get it boiling up. And then, once you've got your curry powder, everybody good? Throw it into the water, like that. That's all you've got to do. Okay, watch it thicken up. 
Now, turn it down a little bit. Turn that pan down. Stop it boiling too much. That's it. A little moderate, as are we doing? I think you're doing a great job at the moment, I bet. Everybody's good. Right, watch it thicken up. You want to take all those clumps. Get a spoon, a wooden spoon. Be careful. Give it a good stir. Don't be shy. Watch that curry paste. If it starts spitting, turn it down a little bit more. What you're trying to do is you're trying to cook out those powders and get rid of all that liquid so you're left with a nice curry paste. Okay, look, see? You want to get it like that. Um, Evelyn, you just want... Um, you just want a good heaped tablespoon of curry powder and that'll do you, okay? Got it? One heaped, nice big tablespoon and then water and then bring it to the boil. Look, and until you get that. We good? How are we all doing? I'm going to slow down a little bit if it's too fast. How are we doing, James? Got it, Evelyn? Happy? So, you put water, curry powder, Bring it to the boil and watch that paste go to town. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right? Are we all happy, folks? Get in there slowly, I think. You're doing all right, James. You hang on in there. Okay? Thanks for joining me, James, all right? Is Willow with you or is it just you on your own? Hi Dunk, good to see you. Oh, anyway, so now, so I've done the done the paste. Okay, so I've done this curry paste. So just water, curry powder. That's it. All right. Looks like the inside of a nappy, but it isn't. All right. It smells amazing. Now, once you get to this point, turn the stove off. Okay and set it to one side. All you want to do, all you want to do is basically cook those powders out. All right, well done Willow, you keep in there. Right, so I've got this like that, just a nice paste like that. That's all you want, okay? Put it to one side, forget about it for a bit. Show you what we're gonna do with that later. Okay, now, now folks, um, let me know when your paste is cooling and then we'll get on to the next stage, all right? The next stage we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting to make the croffins, okay? Walk in the park. Really simple, great and easy thing to do, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do those. While our pastry, um, our flatbread is um, resting in the fridge, we can get our croffins done, a bit like we did last week, get everything done in ahead of time and get it all sorted and organised. And then we bake it at the same time, it's great. Okay, well done Evelyn, stay with us, stay with us, let me get a drink. This is a bit scary, it's a live cook-off now. Last week's baking was relatively straightforward, this one is a bit woohoo. Um, okay, James, just give us a thumbs up when you're ready and we'll crack on to the next phase. Everybody give me a thumbs up if you're cooking along with me, okay? It's okay. We're all good. Excellent. I'm getting thumbs up. That's good. Right. That's good. Let's crack on. Thanks, Dunk. No pressure. It's good fun, though. <laughs> it's career-ending. <laughs> Um, right, how are we all doing? We ready to rock? Okay, now, if we'll move on to the next thing, this is really easy, okay? This is the easiest thing you're gonna make today. Grab hold of your muffin tins, okay? Get your muffin tins. I'm gonna go and grab mine now, just bear with me. So, 
So, I've got these whoppers. These are bad boys. Look how big these are, right? That's okay. You, yours are going to be slightly smaller. Doesn't matter, okay? Really doesn't matter. Grab these, put those to one side, ready for the next phase, all right? Make sure you're organised. Go to your fridge, grab your croissant um, tubes, okay? You've got your croissant to tube, okay? Let's go down to the, we're gonna go down to the board. Everybody all right with the curry paste? Okay, so, we're all here, excellent. So, all you gotta do with these things, they're hilarious. I discovered these recently because I don't use them, all right? But for, for the purposes of this, this is perfect, right? Now, not like last week, you know when we threw, what did we throw, the eggs last week? This paper, throw it anywhere, don't matter, get it out of the way, all right? Twist it, let's bring these bad boys out, like that. Then you've got your paste, this bit, throw it somewhere else. If it hits the bin, good shot. Okay, now, what you've got to do is you've got to find this seam, see this seam, find that bit there, and unroll it, okay? Now, what you'll get is you'll get two triangles, okay? All you want to do is cut it off square. So keep it whole, like that. And turn it round and move it towards you, like that. The next one, we're gonna do two lots of this. The other one we're gonna put back in the fridge. Get to the second part. Cut it. Get rid of this, move this to one side for a minute, okay? So now you've got two rectangles okay this will make this will make six muffins okay all right six muffins so the next part of this you've got your grated cheddar yes everyone's got a grated cheddar let me know you're staying with me all good How are you all doing? We okay? It's a bit more technical this one this week. Bit of a laugh, but it'll be alright. It'll turn out well. I, I, I have faith in you all. Ten people watching. Yay! You've got there in the end. Uh, that won't last long. They'll get bored of me and then run off, will they? <laughs> okay, so are we ready? We're all good. Boom, 11. This is great. More than last week, that's all right. It's okay, 400 of you watched this last week afterward, after the event, which is good. Right, ready? Okay, so now, what we're gonna do with the paste? We've got the grated cheese. Everybody ready with the grated cheese? If I'm running too fast, let me know, okay? Willow, how you doing? Are you catching up? Or are you running around like a headless chicken? Well, hopefully not like a headless chicken, because you like your chickens, but you know what I mean. 30 more seconds and then we'll crack on to the next bit. Everything's going to time, it's only half past two. I wanna do this inside of an hour. <laughs> okay, so. I haven't seen anything run through. I wonder if I'm stuck here. Is we slow? Or is everybody trying to get ahead? So what you should have is you should have Ah, what's that mean? Oh, <laughs> right. So, this you should have this rectangle. Perfect. All right. Let's look back down. Okay. So, if you can see that, we're all good. Let me just tighten this bit up so it doesn't fall. Oh, oh, that was not good. That's good. Right, we're all good. Excellent. Right, cheese. What you do? See this piece here? Should we start with this piece? It's a bit easier to see. Right, sprinkle your cheese all the way down. Not too much, okay? Like that. I'll show you what to do with the other piece in a minute. And put your hand in there, get your hands dirty, and start running your fingers over them, okay? You want that cheese to be embedded, sitting into the croissant paste, all right? This one, 
same. Sprinkle it out, nice handful, that's it. All right? And then press down. Let's push that cheese into the paste, all right? That's that, easy peasy. Then, get your ham. You should have some sliced ham. Keep it whole, right? And lay it over the cheese, easy. Look, one, two. Now I reckon it's just one and a half slices per piece. I, I tested this earlier, they turned out great. So there you go, that's all you need, exactly like that, okay? Are we all together? Lightly season, okay? Lightly season, and then this is the fun part. Are we all together? James, how's Willow doing? She all right? Okay, so while we're waiting for people, grab your muffin tray like that, get a knob of butter and run the butter round the base of the muffin tray, okay? And make sure there's plenty of butter along the bottom there. You don't want this to stick, all right? Or you'll be all day. So I run my fingers round. As long as your hands are clean, we're all good here. Okay, like that. See that? Easy. Okay. Okay. Right, well buttered. Excellent stuff. Let's move back to one side. Okay, well buttered. Good to see you, Anne. Right, so we've got our croff in our muffin trays, buttered. Okay, we've got our croissant paste with the cheese and ham on it, ready to go. Okay, let me wipe my fingers. Okay, let's go for the next bit. This is gonna be a bit technical, folks. You ready? So what you do is we'll do it this way, it'll be easier. Lift up the piece of croissant paste like that and start rolling it. All you wanna do is roll it like a sausage, like a sausage roll. Like that, roll it, roll it, roll it, all the way to the end, okay? And stop. Okay, next one, let's do this one. Roll it. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. God, I haven't heard that song in ages. Okay. And then roll it. Oh, through cheese everywhere, that's a good start. Throw it in there, roll it, job to good one. That's it. There's your croffins, people. Easy, isn't it? Right, now, let's get rid of the cheese. Got cheese everywhere. Right, you got your board there. Oh, let's start to do this first. Now, now you've done that. Now, as long as you've got a parent with you, you need to grab a knife. Nice sharp knife, okay? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these into three, okay? So what you wanna do is you want even cuts. Have a look, place your knife on there, make a line, don't be shy. You could even make massive ones, but they will take longer to cook, okay? So what you want to do is you want to split them into even three even pieces, okay? First one, let's go right down like that. When you turn it on the side, you'll see a nice circle. See that? Cut the next one. Always make sure your fingers are away from that blade. See those? Like, there you go, look. There's your three, there's your croffins, ready to rock and roll. I'll show you what we'll do with these in a second. Right, see this one? Let's do it again. Ready? Cut it. You're in charge of the knife, not the knife in charge of you, okay? This one. Cut it again. There you go. There's your six pieces. All right? Move back to one side. Let's get rid of the cheese. Now, let me do this, so you can see what I'm doing. So now, get rid of the knife off the board, that's dangerous. You've got your buttered, you've got, let's get rid of that butter. Don't need that anymore, we'll do that, we'll need it later. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's keep nice and tidy. Okay, 
Okay, now this is the easy part. Grab one of the croffins, put it in the middle of the muffin tray like that and do it with all six. Just put it right in the middle like that. Okay? How are we doing? Are we all there? We okay? Okay, how are we doing? Are we all together or is it gone? It's all gone quiet over there. <laughs> it's all gone quiet, all gone quiet over there. We all right? <laughs> um, right, so now we've got our coffins ready. We're gonna bake these while we're doing the next thing, scary, all right? So what you wanna do is after that, are we all together? So, let's go down. So what you do is, with your fingers, what you wanna do is grab this. See what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna push down. Squidge it. Squidge it in there, like that. Squidge them in. And they'll sit in, in this, the circumference or the side, look at that. Squidge them in, like that. Not too precious, squidge them in. All right, they're gonna rise anyway. Squidge each one in. And they'll sit at the bottom like that. Perfect, that's it, squidge them in. All right, then we're gonna put them in the oven. 180 to 200 for about 15 minutes, all right? We've got time, they'll come out before we finish, I hope. So, let's rock. Straight in the oven, 10, 15 minutes, put the alarm on, get a parent to help you, okay? Grab a cloth, and let's get these bad boys in it. If you've got any grated cheese left, sprinkle it over the top and they come out the oven, and the cheese will melt on and they'll be a beaut, all right? Okay, my croffins are in, okay? Now, Next thing we're gonna do, if everybody's, is everybody's croffins in the oven? Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we are going to make these flatbreads, okay? This is when it gets exciting. We're gonna knock these out in 20 minutes. They're going to be amazing, all right? Okay, first things first, once the croissants are in the oven, okay? Um, your croffins are in the oven, let's crack on with the, the curry, okay? so. Get a small bowl, all right? So let me go down again. Small bowl. We've got that. Am I rushing, folks? Okay, so let's crack on. I think everybody's all right. They'd have told me by now if they weren't. So, now, we've got the bowl ready. Small little bowl for your coronation mayonnaise to mix it in, okay? Even a small breakfast bowl will do. Then what you do, Get your mayonnaise, 
that you've got. Squidge a load in there. I'm going to go, that'll do us. Job's a good one. One squidge. Nothing too dramatic, that'll do. Now, this is going to be down to you. How much curry do you like? That's the question, right? So, we've got the mayo in the bowl. Now we're going to throw in some of the uh, curry paste that we've made. So you should have your lovely curry paste cooled down. It should still be a little bit warm, but not too much. It'll be fine, okay? So, you've got that little paste. Look, it should be more hard now. Take, depending on how hot, hot you like it, just take one spoon like that. Throw it into your mayo, okay? All right? And then, let's grab a spoon. And stir this bad boy together. Look at that. There you go, covered mayonnaise. But we're gonna make it a little bit more, um, we're gonna we're gonna make it a little bit more sophisticated, a bit more beautiful. All right, I'm gonna stick a bit more paste in it because I like mine a little bit hotter. All right. And what you'll find with this process will be less grainy. Some people make it with just throwing powder in some mayonnaise, that's horrible. Okay, mango chutney, got that somewhere? Grab the mango chutney and put a, a small splodge in there like that, like, hot, like a teaspoon. Mix it together, it'll add a bit of sweetness. Salt and pepper, throw that in. Okay, that's good. Give it a good stir. Okay, and then give it a taste. Grab the spoon. Taste it. Mmm, lovely. Okay. Okay. Fresh spoon, don't don't double dip. That's the worst thing you can do. So, mayonnaise, set to one side, okay? Let's go and get the pastry out. Are we all okay? Grab your pastry, bring it out. Should be nice and happy like that. Lovely. Okay. Again, grab some plain flour. Don't use your um, don't use um, self-raising because that's quite precious at the moment. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our wraps. What we're going to do, we're just going to make two, okay, so that you know what we're doing, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this pastry onto the board with some flour. Get some flour on there. Get the pa your paste on there. It should be nice, nice and squidgy, not too firm. Okay, grab your knife. That you've got. Let's give it a wipe. Pass you some time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. This little round, we're going to cut it into six. Okay? So down the middle, like a little wedge there, and then a little wedge there. Move them to one side, okay? And that's your six wraps, okay? First things first, get the one, the piece that you've got there, roll it into a ball, roll it into a ball, that's it. Straight down the middle, like that. Now this is where we're going, this is bread, this is a good flatbread, this is. Walking apart, use your fingers like we did last time with the scones, and just pat it out. Nothing too dra dramatic, easy peasy. All right, like that. Are we all good? It's all gone quiet over there. I think there's people running around kitchens hoping for the best. We all good? Right, there's my pokey little, um, my rolling pin, because I've lost the wooden one. Um, this one's for icing, but it does the trick. And start rolling it out. Nice and thin, as thin as you can make it, all right?
and then keep on turning it over, moving it around, getting a bit of that flour on so it doesn't stick. All right. How are we doing? To about a small plate size like that. It's got to be reasonably thin, okay? Like that. How's that? Pat it out. Having finger marks always good in place. It looks looks authentic. Okay. So, we've got them like this. Are you ready? So, grab your mail. Hold on one second. We all good? It's all gone quiet out there. I've still got 10 viewers, which is good. Right, so now we're going to make our flatbreads. Ready? Um, I'll give you a little bit more time. I'm going to have a little swig of water. Just keep myself um, hydrated. Hot times. I've got my new Star Wars t-shirt today, so I'm quite happy. It's about six weeks too late, but hey, what happens, eh? I thought Amazon had, had, had cranked, cranked up their service, but hey. How's Willow doing? Is she okay? Right, let's go back down here so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so I've got the flatbread ready to rock, okay? Let's move the bowl out of the way. So nice and even, okay? You've got your paste, there you go. Everybody's nice and happy. Okay, then a nice spoonful of your mayo, right down the middle. Don't be so precious about it. And a little dab there, I'm gonna show you why in a minute, okay? So, get a bit of the chicken that you've got all ripped up, okay? Put that down the middle. A little bit of the chicken like that. This is this is your wrap being made, right? Like that. Grab some spinach, okay? Your baby spinach. Rip it up, put it down. Good, good job, all right? Like that. Get your mint that you've got. Now, don't be so precious about this. Whole leaves, good as gold. Just put some in there, pick some. Throw it in, lovely job. Okay, bit of S&P. Salt and pepper. Season it up. And then, bit of lime. Cut it in half and have a little squidge of lime in there. Add a bit of zing to it, okay? You could put a bit of zest in there, right? Just get a small grater, put some zest, but it's not essential. Okay? Lovely. Are we all ready? Now we're gonna fold, but I need to know that you're okay and following me. How are we doing? Okay, we're good. Okay, now, see this bit here? Are we ready to wrap? I'm going to take a little bit off here because I think that might be too much pastry. So if you think there's too much, give it a trim. Okay, now this little bit of mayo here is your glue to make sure the wrap is enclosed, okay? So take this piece here that's over flowing here, put it over to create an enclosure of that wrap, okay? This one, away from you, 
and over the top so you've got a little envelope. Then push these sides down like that. Okay, now these bits you hold either side and go all put your fingers, your four fingers here, all the way over and try and cover up all the chicken. See that? Then what you do is you get your thumb and your four fingers and just hold it like that and turn it over, squidge it in a little bit, and so it's nice and tight like that. Then over again, and you have yourself your first wrap, okay? Move that to one side. I'll do it again. Right. A little bit more flour, I think. A bit longer than an hour today, I think, folks. Right. There you go. See that? Push it all out. Like we did before, let's do the next wrap. We're going to do two, okay? These ones you can hold back and do it in your own time, all right? So there you go. Keep an eye on your, your croppings. Boom. They're looking good. Might turn one down a little bit. Okay. So. There you go. Roll it out a little bit. Same as before. Okay. Okay, so we've got our wrap. Push it out a little bit more. Now, if you're vegetarian, replace it with roasted vegetables. If you're vegetarian, spinach and avocado wraps will work. It'll be fine, anything you like, mushrooms, anything you want. Chick crushed chickpeas would be amazing in here. Do anything you like, all right? So, you've got a nice piece of pastry, the, your, your, your bread dough here, okay? Let's do it again. So, a nice glob draw of mayo in there like that. And a bit at the end is your bit of glue, okay? That's your little trick. Keep it all in line. Take a little bit off there, it might be a little bit too much. Don't want too much pastry in there, okay? What goes on next, folks? A bit of chicken. Like that. Bit of S&P. Like a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, bit of spinach. Really good picnic dish this is. You can toast this. I'm just gonna show you how to cook it in a minute once I know everybody's all right. Because so I don't want to run too fast. Because I know for me, it's relatively straightforward to do this. The mint goes in on the top, okay? Then you, you've got it seasoned. Oh, don't forget my lime. That's it. Fold it over, let's um, enclose it, like that, all good, all right? Then your thumb and your forefinger are over the top, and this forefinger sits here, hold it in, okay? And then you start folding it and rolling it and make sure it's nice and tight, so it's nice and secure. And that's your second wrap, just right there. All right. So you should have two like that. The rest you can refrigerate and do later. Right, I'm gonna hang back and wait for you guys because I know it's quite technical. But I believe in you, it's okay. Because the last five minutes or so, last 10 minutes, we're gonna cook these bad boys in a frying pan. So you need a non-stick frying pan on the stove, get your parents to help you and get it heated up. Nice, moderate heat. My buzzer's going. I reckon my croffins are coming. If your buzzer's going, get your croffins out. Look at those bad boys. Boom. There you go. Smash in. Right. Now, 
You can put anything you like on there. Look at that. Look at those. I'm well happy with those. Now, make sure you use an oven cloth. Bring them out, put them to one side, okay? They'll set in there and you'll be able to eat them in the next, I would leave them for another 10 minutes and they'll be perfect, all right? But let me show you how easy they are to take out. Um, let, me, let me get rid of that for a second and I'll turn you around. All right, let's have a look. Check those bad boys out, they're well cool. There you go. Let me turn it on the sixpence there. And oh, that's good. It's all, it's all falling apart. All right, there you go. Look at those. Let's turn it that way. Less dangerous. Okay, right? And then, let me just get a little knife. And look at these bad boys. Look at this one. This one looks good. Look, nice and brown at the bottom. Turn it round. There's your croffins. Great for a picnic. There you go. Look at those. Look at this one. Turned out lovely, didn't they? Look. Easy peasy. They're great, aren't they? Look. Perfect. Okay? So there you go. There's your there's your croffins right there. So I'm gonna put these to one side. How are we all doing? I haven't heard from you guys for a while. There must be chaos in the kitchen. I'm not gonna move on to the next stage until I know you're ready, okay? Now, for my wraps, um, I'm going to use a Korean omelette pan. Best thing I ever bought, right? Brilliant for an omelette. Perfect. They're about five quid on Amazon. They're amazing. I might even put a link so you can buy one. They're non-stick. They're brilliant for these wraps. But use a good non-stick frying pan will do you. Okay? A little bit of olive oil. Put it on the heat and turn it onto a moderate heat. Get a parent to do it if you're a, um, um, a child doing it. And make sure you keep the handle in please so we don't knock those about all right and then we're going to cook these these wraps and then i'm going to leave you to it because i think i believe in you it'll be great all right also have a, a baking sheet ready to put your wraps on because you're going to finish them off in the oven they won't take long a couple of minutes but i'll show you keep the oven on all right and we'll carry on from there. How are we all doing? Does anybody want me to show them the, the wrapping of the wrap again? No? Someone reply. I've got no no responses. I don't know what I'm, don't know if I can move on or not. Do I put a silly filter on just for a laugh? Okay, folks, um, sorry, but I'm not getting any responses from anybody. I'm not sure why. I'm not, um, I'm not getting any comments. So uh, let me just try and bring it up on my iPad. I really didn't realise I wasn't getting it. I'm, I'm, I'm screaming at you guys. And I don't even know. Um, I'm, I'm not getting any responses. Hold on a second. Let me uh, go onto Facebook so I can see your comments because that is a worry, folks. All right, bear with me. I don't know if I can see the comments here either. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna have to wing it, okay? So, I'm gonna show you one more wrap again. Is that okay? Um, I'm not getting any, 
any uh, thumbs up or anything, so we're just going to have to wing it, alright? Um, I'm not sure why, but we're going to have to... We'll persevere. The Croffins, as long as they look good, send me a picture so I can at least see your efforts. Let's go down here, we'll do another wrap, and then we'll start frying, okay? Let's crack on. Okay, so they're my two wraps. I'll do one more, okay? So, for people that have missed it... Um, yeah. Perfect. Thanks, darling. Right, folks, I've got, um, I've now got another phone. It's, it's, it's Phone City in, in here, right? I'm going to put that on there. Oh, no. Uh, right, and I'm going to be able to then see what people's comments on. All right? Bear with me. Okay. Um, all right, we've still got you. Fantastic. Right, okay, folks, so I'm going to show you um, I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you another wrap, okay? So, I've put the flour down. And, um, I'm going to do one more. So, I've got the wraps ready. Ignore the footage of the phone. That's just me trying to get organised, because I'm not getting any comments whatsoever, which is a bit of a shame. But, hey... Things like this happen. We just have to go with the flow. This is this is the fun of life. All right. So. So, I've got the wrap. Like so. I've rolled it out. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, James. So, you roll it out like that. Looks perfect. Then you get a little bit of the mayonnaise. Like that. Right in the middle of the wrap, and then a little tickle along the top. Run your finger like that if you want, it's a bit of glue, okay? Then, chicken down the middle. So, Claire, yes, the chicken does go in, all right? Spinach, in you go. Um, and then a little bit of mint. So you put the mint, spinach, and the mayo in there, okay? And a bit of S and P. And then we're going to get these cooked, all right? And then we'll be done. I think we're doing all right. Thanks for everybody's patience. I didn't realise I wasn't getting any responses, which is a bit crazy. Okay, so this is where the fun stops, folks. I say that every time, don't I? Right, so what you do is so I, you can see this, you get you pinch either side and bring the wrap in to envelop one side, okay? Then this side, you do the same, hold the ears here and in you go like that. So you, you encase the wrap like that. Then with your thumb and forefinger, hit the top like that, okay? Hold it like that. Bit of lime goes in. And then, as you start folding, thanks mum, I forgot about the lime again. And then, pinch either side, and then roll straight over the top of the chicken and all the other ingredients to create a tube like that. Your thumb and forefinger, your forefingers go underneath your thumbs and roll the wrap over. And there you have a wrap. Are we all good with that? Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to, if you have to reverse it, um, rewind and have a look, go for it. Do, we do one more. It's a bit technical, but hey. Right. So, now back to my stove. I'm going to switch a Rooney this. And now, we're going to do some more cooking. Okay, let's go here so you can see what I'm doing. Okie dokie. So, what do we need now? We need a little bit of olive oil, okay? In a pan, like that. Not a lot. 
I've lit my stove. Moderate heat, all good. Keep a nice moderate heat. Now we need to take the excess oil off there. Um, and then wipe around the pan. If you want, there's another technique and you'll see this in street, um, you'll see these in street food markets. Grab some tongs, grab hold of there and just roll around like that. That's perfect, like that. And then you'll get an even spread of oil all around your pan. It's a great technique. Right, that's all you need, right? Lose that. Okay, then, then keep that nice and hot, okay? When you can put your hand over it and you have to pull away, it's hot enough, okay? Let me wash my hands. Well, we've gone over the hour and I haven't lost, lost any viewers, so that's all right. We're doing all right. So, nice and hot. Then what you do, what you need to do, you see the seam that you've got, you want to seal that. The seam where the, um, the piece of um, pastry hits the main roll. See that? And what you want to do is you want to put that down first. And here a little sizzle. Then this one, same. Put that on the deck like that. It's a small pan. It's like a nice size because I can hold it in there and it just holds it all together. It's great. Okay, I'm just going to cook two. All right. We're, we're... Okay. So, what you'll notice, you'll get little bubbles. You'll hear a nice sizzle. Don't be frightened of it. Be careful with it, but don't be frightened of it. It'll be fine. Okay. Now, I've got my trusty spatula here. Right, we're going to turn these over after about 40 seconds, okay? Okay. Now, now we've got these bad boys rock and rolling. We're going to turn them over. Ready? Just turn it over nice and slowly. Use a pallet knife if you can get under it. I'm doing it this way because the pan's small. Okay, don't get your hands in unless, you have, unless you've got an adult around. Make sure that you're being careful, okay? Look at the nice color. That's what you're looking for, a nice browny color. Can you see that? Let me show you a bit better. All right, that's what you're looking for. All right, nice. Look, nice moderate heat. And then we're going to turn it over again, but on its side, okay? What we want to do is we want to cook all round the, the, the wrap, okay? And we want to heat the inside as well, all right? Keep it going. Don't put any more oil in it, you won't need it. And then what you want to do is you want to turn it on its side like that. Because it's rectangular, you can, like that. Okay, if you have to hold a, pa uh, a pallet knife there, it's fine. The handle isn't going to burn, the metal will though. Just hold it there, like that, see? Just keep it there. Nice technique, that is. Okay. Any suggestions on what you want me to cook next week, give me a shout. I'll go for, I might be doing burgers next week, like the ultimate beef burger. That'd be quite cool. I'll even do a vegan one as well, which would be great. Or a veggie one, alright? The ultimate veggie burger. Maybe we'll do something like that. Give us a shout. Give us a, um, give us some comments in my next announcement, or let us know. All right. Right now, let's turn it around the other way. Keep it turning. Like that. I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Don't try this at home, kids. All right. Like that. Use some tongs if you have to, which would be probably safer. Use some tongs and just hold them like that and squeeze them together. Get an adult to help you. All right? But I'm not gonna sit here and think you guys can't cook, because I think you can. You're all having a go and that's the main thing. 
I haven't lost any viewers yet, so I'm doing all right. We all like okay? Excellent, let's keep it going. Right, once you've got these toasted, are we all good? Okay, right, once these are all toasted, take them out using the tongs and put them on a baking sheet, okay? All right, get that one toasted so they look like that. And we're gonna put it in the oven for about three to four minutes just to make sure the inside is toasted, all right? Oh, one thing I did forget to do. Oh, we'll do that afterwards, that's fine. Um, let me just toast that a little bit more on this side. There's one thing we need to do, and it's it's pretty bad. Just don't tell your folks, all right, because it's pretty bad. It's, um, what we need, oh, sorry, I think I lost you there, bear with me. Right, so, another thing, the other thing as well, is that what we're gonna do, see this now? Now, good flatbreads, right, you've got them nice and hot, grab some butter and just run some butter over the top. This gives it a nice finish when it goes in the oven, all right? And bung it in the oven for a few minutes, okay? Literally two minutes. Wrap that up, get rid of it, okay? Now we're gonna put this in the oven, about 180, for two minutes, two or three minutes, just to finish off, okay? Put it in the top half of the oven, okay? Now, let's serve up the cro croffins, make them look lovely on a plate. Let's look at that first, okay? So, here we go. So, let's get rid of the chicken, we don't need that anymore. Okay? We all good? Right, here we go. So, these are nicely cooled down now. So, there's my croffins. There you go, look at that. Ideal for your evening picnic. Give them to your mum and dad and get them to get outside and have a nice evening, all right? Look at those. That's your croffins, sorted, okay? Then, what we're going to do, we're going to move that to one side. We're now going to jazz up another plate. So, what I've prepared for later is to go with your, to go with your, um, your uh, flatbread wraps, a bit of yogurt, okay? Like that, lovely. A bit of mango chutney on the side. Okay, and then what you do, get some lime, okay? Put a bit of lime, there, boom. That's what we're talking about. Okay, that's ready for our lime, uh, for our wraps, okay? And then, let's get a nice sprig of mint. Make it look beautiful. It may be a wrap, but let's make it look nice, eh? Nice sprig, there. Jobs are good. There you go. We're ready to go. Then what we're gonna do, as soon as they're ready, we'll bring the flatbreads out, and our job is done. So, let's move that to one side. I'll present these in a minute. Are we all good? Oh, and we need the squirty cream. Everybody grab your squirty cream, if you've got it, all right? Got to get it ready, ain't you? Right, how's everybody's um, flatbreads? Give them a couple more minutes. Clean my knife. And then we're going to finish bad, put this bad boy off. All right? So, you could put loads of different things on this. You could serve it with a little um, little spoonful of rice. That'd be amazing. Like a little meal, like dinner. Cook dinner for your folks, they love it. Um, 
lunch and dinner for your folks. They'll appreciate it. Be brilliant. Now this is where we um, we risk it for a biscuit and see what it looks like when we cut it open. Quarter past three. I was hoping to do this in an hour, but it hasn't worked out, has it? But we've got there in the end. It's all good. Thirty more seconds on those wraps. What you want to do is these be nice and firm and fluffy. What you don't want is the inside to be undercooked. You fried it and it's cooked most of it. We just need to make sure, okay? So give it one more minute. One thirty seconds. One more minute. You'll know what it, I'll tell you what it looks like. But when I cut it in half, you'll know what I mean, All right? Just give it a minute. Just come in. Exciting, isn't it? All right, and what we'll do is we'll celebrate this in a second. All right, this is the way forward. Ready? So, here we go. My wraps, they're ready to rock. Just put them to one side like that. Um, hold on, let's do that again like I never just picked them up with my hand because I've got asbestos fingers. Bad move, Dave. Sorry, folks. Right, ready? Use tongs on there like that. Ready to go, all right? Turn the oven off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to present this bad boy, right? There you go. Let's move it this way, it might be easier to watch. Right, ready? Cut it at an angle. That's what we're talking about. And there you go. There's your wrap. Let's move this out one out the other way. Let's see what this one's like. That'll do. Leave that to one side, present it nicely. So there you go, there's my, my wrap there, and there's the croffins. The other thing you can do, okay, the other thing you can do is this. I put Marmite and cream cheese in one of those croffins. Check these bad boys out. Look at that, look, look at those. Lovely. Cut them in half, let's have a look at them. Let's have a look. Oh, look at those, look, boom. So they've got a nice gooey centre, look at those. They're great, aren't they? So look, cut them in half, and that's how they look, okay? Um, let's, um, let's, Let's be a bit brave here. I'm going to unplug us, okay? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. Look, so that's what, what we've done today. Look at that. How cool is that? If everybody's got that far, you should be very proud of yourself. Because I'll tell you what, I enjoyed it. And it was quite hairy in places. But we got there, didn't we? And I think, to celebrate... We should get our squirty cream and just go to town. This is the only reason I've got you to buy it. Let's celebrate. I can't fall, but it tasted great. I used to do this. Um, my mum knows for a fact that when we had squirty cream at home, I used to do this most evenings before I went to bed. And then, but I made sure I cleaned the nozzle. Always a good shout, right? Um, and that was was pr pretty. That's special, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Can't be a bit of squirty cream. Anyway, I'll clean that in a second. So we all did that. Good. Um, I need a drink now. Um, so as you can see, that's everything you need. I'll go through the ingredients again. So today we made 
we made um, we made our flatbread. Can we all see that? There you go, look at that. Boom. Oh, not very good at that. Right, we made our flatbreads and we made our funky coffins. Look at those, ham and cheese coffins. So what I'd like you to do, guys, follow me on all the social media if you can and send me your pictures to Facebook, uh, um, Bonkers Cookery School, and um, Twitter. Put them on Twitter, okay? All the social media's up here. Show you all of that, yeah? Take a screenshot, make sure you send it. I wanna see your pictures. Last week's ones were amazing. I'm sure we can do better this, this week, all right? Um, so, yeah, um, if everybody's happy, let's, um, I will see you soon, and I can't wait to see your results. Thank you very much for being patient. Thank you very much for having a go, and thank you very much for joining me. I will see you soon. Wait, uh, watch this space. Sunday, next thing we're going to do, all right? But I want your suggestions. Oh, and I have it. If you've tried something new, let me know about it. Comments below, please. Let me know what you've tried. Take care, stay safe, and thank you. Bye-bye.